Today we're going to install this fender eliminator. So before we get started, let's show you this fender eliminator off the bike. This is the man of the box fender eliminator. It's all black, so it's going to tie in with any FZ07. Uh, it also has a small LED right here. Uh, it's kind of like a stealth light. You can barely see it. It's so small, but it's going to light up that license plate really nice. And that way you're legal and it looks great and everything else. And then also you have this rubber grommet here. So that way your license plate isn't vibrating all over the place. So now I'm going to go ahead and try to install it. Now, first thing, I'm going to go ahead and take off this other fender eliminator that I have. If you have on whatever, you're going to need to take it off. Uh, it should be pretty self-explanatory. This is the Yoshimura fender eliminator. I highly recommend not getting this. The reason being is because it doesn't look that great. There's wires hanging off the back. And the biggest thing to me, the turn signals jiggle and they pop loose like that. You, they do have plates and everything, but I just highly recommend not getting that. Just get something like this. This is way better, but let's get to it. Once you get off the rear fender or fender eliminator, then you're going to want to go ahead and take off all of these side plastics if you haven't already. Uh, I did it at first and I broke a clip off my tail light, so I highly recommend going ahead and taking those off. There are some bolts also hidden uh, up underneath the seat as well, so that you need to be making a, make aware of, I guess. Uh, but anyways, getting back to it, uh, on this, once you get all that done, you're going to want to put this on, obviously. So you've got a connector, uh, it's a factory connector, comes plug and play, super simple. So just throw that through the main hole and go and plug that in, uh, nice and simple. And then you have four holes right here. These four holes line up with the four holes on the bottom. And you, you can see how everything's lining up. So uh, just throw the supplied hardware in that and you'll be golden. So I'm gonna go ahead and do all that. I'm gonna throw on the side fairings and then I'll show you guys what it looks like. All right guys, so here it is. Here is the Fender Eliminator. So you see how clean it looks. Very nice. Once you put that license plate on there, it'll look nice too. You can see that tiny little LED up there. There we go. Yeah, tiny little LED. So that's it. Very clean install. It looks really good with everything. I still got a couple little clips to put in the bottom, but that's pretty much it. I'm gonna turn it on real quick. All right, now let's now let's take a look at it. Oh yeah, that's the LED right there. So you can you can see on camera it's a, a little bit bright, but it looks really good. I really like it. So. All right guys, so that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave a comment down in the comment section below. Also in the comments, let me know what you think about this Fender Eliminator. It is a great buy. I mean, it's not that expensive. And the first thing I wanted when I got my FC was a Fender Eliminator because the turn signals just wasn't like I wanted them and different things. But this kit, I couldn't have gone wrong with it. I'm so happy I got it. The little LED is great because I don't have to run anything extra. So that's great. But, uh, but yeah, next up is the integrated tail light. Uh, I need turn signals since I got rid of the turn signals on the last one. So if you're interested in this, know that you're going to lose turn signals, obviously, unless you add some later on. So the integrated tail light is next. So if you're interested in that, uh, stay tuned for that, uh, in the next episode of the FC. FZ Garage. Anyways, guys, take it easy. Later.